The game that we are playing today is called Factor Construction. In this game, you will be illustrating pairs of factors of numbers using building blocks. Each time you find and build the correct factor pair, you earn a point. The goal of this game is to earn as many points as you can. The materials you need to play this game are sets of 40 cubes and a recording sheet for each player. You also need two six-sided dice. You can play with two to four players. The player with the lightest color eyes goes first. Roll the dice, find the sum, then write the sum on the recording sheet. Because this is your first turn, also write the sum in the total amount column. The player has rolled a sum of 10. Use 10 cubes to create a rectangular prism. How many different ways can you arrange them and still have a rectangular prism? What are the side lengths of each prism? Here's a prism with one side length of 5 and the other of 2, so one pair of factors is 5 by 2. I can also make a 10 by 1 prism, so another pair of factors is 1 by 10. Record the factor pairs on the sheet. You earn one point for each factor pair for a total of two points. Since you have found two pairs of factors, record the number of points earned as two. Your turn ends. The next player rolls the dice. This player rolled a six and a five and writes 11 on the recording sheet. Since you rolled a prime number, you can only find one factor pair. Write the factor pair on the recording sheet. You earn one point for the first round. On your next turn, you will add the amount rolled to the sum of the previous amounts rolled in order to find the new total amount. Using the new total, you will find the factor pairs. Each player takes five turns. The player with the most points after everyone has rolled five times wins the game. Some questions to think about are, can you earn more points if you roll a prime number or if you roll a composite number? Why? How do the factor pairs relate to the area of a prism? What do you notice when a player rolls a prime number?